Hello and welcome to English Learning Hub. Today, we're going to learn some advanced C2 phrases to help you build your vocabulary and feel confident speaking in English conversations. Let's get started. Big cheese. It refers to an important or influential person in a company or an organization. For example, one of the big cheeses from NASA gave a speech. Joe thinks he's a big cheese now that he's been promoted to assistant manager. Number one, the big cheese often gets little praise. What? No love? A blessing in disguise. It refers to something that seems bad or unlucky at first but results in something good happening later. For instance, losing my job turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Robert's illness was a blessing in disguise, giving him strength and courage. Middle school was a blessing in disguise for me and it took me years to realize that. A long face. It means an unhappy or gloomy expression. If you have a long face, you look sad or serious. For instance, why do you have such a long face? He's been walking around with a long face ever since he failed the examination. Pretty great, ain't it? So why the long face? Because you know that something is out of whack. On a shoestring. It means on a small or inadequate budget. If you do something on a shoestring, you do it with very little money. For example, the film was made on a shoestring. Let's discover how to decorate your kitchen on a shoestring budget. I was going to increase our spend ahead. Well, here's what we've done on a shoestring budget, on a shoestring chutz, on a shoestring, one of these. That's what we've done it on. Against all odds. It means, despite very low probability, in a most unlikely way. If something happens against all odds, it happens or succeeds although it seemed impossible or very unlikely. She managed to win the trophy against all odds. Against all odds, I beat the number one ranked player today. From the Second World War, Van Gogh has been seen more sympathetically as a hero who struggled against all odds to create his art. According to YouTube, only 9% are subscribers, which made me feel a bit down. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Deal a blow to someone or something. It means to cause harm to someone or something. To cause someone or something, usually a plan or hope, to fail or to be affected very badly. For example, the factory closing will deal a serious blow to the town's economy. This scandal has dealt a blow to his plans to stand as chairman. This would deal a serious blow to living standards in a country that has long poured its limited resources into its nuclear program. Face the music. It means to accept criticism or punishment for something you have done. For example, if she lied to me, then she'll just have to face the music. He was part of an illegal racing gang and had to face the music when they were busted. But he didn't remain locked up in the US for long. He was extradited to Austria to face the music there. To get or start off on the wrong foot. It means to start a relationship or activity badly. If someone gets off on the wrong foot in a new situation, they make a bad start by doing. For instance, John got off on the wrong foot with my parents by arriving late. Although we get along fine these days, we got off on the wrong foot back in the beginning. If it's already been public before, uh, your video just gets off on the wrong foot. You, you're hoping to get a whole bunch of, of views, but YouTube might have already sent out the email. Pick someone's brain. It means to ask someone who knows a lot about a subject for information or their opinion. For instance, can I pick your brain about how you got rid of those weeds? 
I need to pick your brain about a little situation that has come up. Who want to do things like get together over coffee and connect, or pick your brain? A chip on one's shoulder. It means to have an angry or unpleasant attitude caused by a belief that one has been treated unfairly in the past. You've got a chip on your shoulder since the accident. Joe has a chip on his shoulder. He takes it the wrong way every time I say something to him. Do you really think that's a chip on your shoulder, or, or more just creative longing, just wanting to make something? Having second thoughts. It means to change or reconsider your opinion about something, or start to doubt it. It is used when changing or reconsidering an opinion or a decision that is already made. For instance, you're not having second thoughts about getting married, are you? After she agreed to lend him the money, she had second thoughts. There are quite a few different reasons that this could happen. Their plans may have changed. They might be having second thoughts about their course. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. It is used when you are completely certain. If you know or believe something beyond a shadow of a doubt, you are certain that it is true. For example, I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that everything was going to be okay. We need to convince him beyond a shadow of a doubt that the plan is sound. Origin point for a fact or a quote. It means you can prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that whoever you say said something actually said something. Pinch pennies. It means to spend as little money as possible. To be especially economical to save up for something bigger. For example, when we were first married, we had to pinch pennies just to get by. There's no need to pinch pennies now that you're working full time. Is the little guy who's trying to, you know, pinch his pennies and make a dollar that has the biggest problem? Trial and error. This is a way of solving a problem by trying many different methods and learning from the mistakes that you make. For instance, many drugs were found by trial and error. This treatment was mainly based on trial and error and the experience of the therapist. Developing a new drug takes significant trial and error and lots of money. Go with the flow. It means to do what other people are doing or to agree with other people because it is the easiest thing to do. Just relax and go with the flow. Going with the flow, she just did what everyone else was doing. The Netherlands offers an exceptional example of how to go with the flow. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe because more valuable content is on the way. See you in the next videos.